Hey, today we'll try and repair this very large Samsung Odyssey monitor type C49 RG90 SSU. There is no picture on the screen, it's only the backlight that turns on, there is no on-screen display either. There is activity on the power LED when I press the power button, else there is no sign of life. Let's get inside and have a look. So here we have the quite large monitor on uh, my desk. I just managed to remove the back cover and it's quite simple. Uh, there is no need to have a screwdriver or anything, you can just pop it off. The back side, there is no screws uh, used for that assembly. And I actually like the design quite a lot. So uh, over here, uh, here we see the power supply. Uh, there is this cable coming through and uh, it is just a 20 volt power supply. So. Half of the pins here is plus 20 volts and the rest is ground and then there is an on off pin. Here we have the main processor, you see all the GPIOs here. And uh, just below here we have the T-Con board. I can just remove this plate here and uh, here we see the T-Con board below. And, um, the symptoms, uh, we saw that I'm able to turn on the monitor, uh, there's a blue LED and uh, the switch is working, the power uh, button working and we see the backlight is coming on. So that means that the power supply is okay and we also have um, power going into the main board that will control the LED on the front. Um, so I also think that the main board here is okay. So now the suspect is the T-Con board, and uh, let's have a look on that. We just take the top off here. And uh, down below here we have the T-Con board. I have already disassembled the, the cables here, and um, I will show you some of the measurements I made. So here we have the main board exposed and then here in the middle we see the CPU and over here we have the main power coming in so we have 20 volts entering here and we have a main switch here and then auxiliary switch up here and over here we have the power circuitry for the backlight and we have two connectors here going to the backlight. So this circuitry is functional since we see the backlight is turning on. And we also have the CPU is running since we can turn on and off the screen. Or the backlight turns on and off and the button is working. Over here we have the connector for the T-Con module and I verified that there are no shorts here on the power connector and I also verified some of the capacitors on the power rails they also look fine and here we have the connectors for the monitor and there's also a USB hub here So this board, I think it's also functional, so let's have a look on the T-Con board. Alright, let's check the fuse up here. Okay, the fuse is good. Then I would like to test some of the capacitors and see if we have a short on some of them. And uh, over here we have a ground, ground plane, so the ground plane is connected to the shield here. So I'll just place the red probe on the shield. And then we can test uh, some of the capacitors here and see if one side is connected to ground. And if we have ground on both sides of the capacitors, we would have a broken capacitor. 
So let's check the larger ones here on this DC to DC converter. So one going is good. Okay. 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 Okay, there's a problem here. We have these four, five capacitors here. There seems to be a short circuit. And we can see that this is uh, power rail AVDD. That seems to be a problem. And it looks like that this is like a step up converter here. Uh, this is all the power is, is controlled by this chip here. And this is making a higher voltage. I think that we have 12 volts coming in up here. And uh, ABVD is normally higher. So let's have a look, a closer look on these uh, capacitors here under the microscope. So in this picture, you clearly see that uh, CM8 is cracked. You can see that in the bottom of the part, there is a slight uh, light brown color in the bottom. And these uh, capacitors or MLCCs, they fail for a variety of reasons, including mechanical stress or board flex and uh, thermal shock. They are very sensitive to the manufacturing process type Ceramic capacitor failure modes into Google and you will find all the data you will ever need. So here you see the repair board. I exchanged the two capacitors, uh, CM9 and CM8. So uh, it was measured to be like uh, 10 microfarads. And you see the capacitor, the tantalium capacitor, um, that's actually a 20 volt type. I can just show the, you the data sheet here. And uh, the capacitors that I used is uh, twin, 10 microfarads and 35 volts. And uh, of course I tested that the, the short is gone. So I will try to assemble the monitor and power it up and see if there is a picture available. And we have picture. And now I just need to install the right driver for this huge monitor. And I have to put on the back plate again. But that was incredible. A capacitor for the value of 10 cents. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.